Okay, so today I'm going to do a video request by several of you YouTubers and several of my subscribers and various people that had questions. And then after I'm going to do a Q&A of condensed over, gosh, over a thousand emails that I've gotten from people that have Chanel's or expensive bags. So watch my next video with a Q&A of tons of questions that people have asked me about my handbags and my Chanel bags, how, what, where, you know, shoulder straps, everything. But this specific video is going to be based on the edges of your Chanel bags and I'm going to do a video on the chain. So if you can see, I haven't done or done any work on my chain for a while, so it's kind of dry and needs a little love. So I'm gonna show you how I fix this. Now I've got my gloves on, as you can see, and the product that I'm gonna be using, this is of course, I've cleaned my bag, and you can watch my cleaning video on my how to clean your Chanel bag, part one and part two, make sure you watch both. And this is going to be specific on the edges. I did this edge here, and that's as good as it's gonna get. It's not going to be ever be perfect or be like it was when it was brand new. And this is the corner that I'm going to be focusing on and the other side. Oops, excuse me. I'm working upside down so it's a little hard. Okay, so let's get started. So you've cleaned your bag with your Cadillac products. And now we're going to be using our melatonin right here and I will have all these products listed below and I'm using neutral and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so you can see the exact condition of this bag and what I'm going to be doing is I've got old t-shirts my kids and I cut them up and I use them to clean my bags or even to stuff them so I'm going to take, let's see, let's see, put this right here and I'm going to dab a little bit right there, this much. And what you want to do is you really want to hydrate the edges right there. And you can do this with any bag, but I'm just doing this on a $4,000 Chanel handbag. So you can see that this works. Now, once again, I mean, your corners of your bags are going to get eaten and scraped. and I mean, so there's really only so much you can do. But I'm going to show you what I do. So, there is some left in the corner, but do not worry. The leather, will, which is getting hydrated right now, is going to suck that all in. So I do that side, and then we're going to flip it. And we're going to do the other side, too. Now, while my leather is still a little moist and wet, what I'm going to do is, now I had set this up to do this outside because this really stinks. And once again, I'm going to have this, and this is a spray paint. And I only have the black color, and I remember it was quite expensive. I don't remember what I paid, but I'll have it listed on a website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, let me zoom out a little bit, it's a little hard, and I'm going to take my sponge, this is just a cleaning sponge that I use to wash my dishes with, I cut it, and as you can see I've used it, so I'll probably use the other side now, and shake it, and I'm going to spray it in there, so you can see, and then I'm going to dab it right there. And then I'm going to take the edge, zoom in again, and I'm going to do the edge while it's still moist. And when I first bought these bags, they were, as I mentioned in my other video, this whole thing was white. 
and I will put pictures before and after on um, in the beginning or at the end of this video. Spray a little bit more because it dries quickly. It's a spray paint. You never want to spray the paint directly on your bag. And then I'm going to do the other side too. Just dab it. Just like so. And that's going to dry. I might as well just do the other side as well. As you can see it's dry and eaten. See? All gone. And we might as well do the fourth corner too. Just like that. That is as good as it's going to get, ladies. I'm sorry to say I am not a miracle worker, but compared to what this bag was looking like when I first got it, it is pretty darn good. So I'm going to zoom all the way out and put away my products that I have here. I'm going to have these listed below, so don't worry, you can see them. And then what I'm going to do is just wipe it. Wipe that edge. There we go. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Like that. And I'm going to do all four sides. You don't have to do it too much because you've put the melatonin in. You just want to make sure it's wiped. Then what I'm going to do is take this. You don't have to buy this brand, but I know it exists all over the world. Because when I was living in Greece, oops, they had a different version of it. It doesn't matter, but I use this one here. It was cheap. It was in the supermarket. You know, whatever. They're everywhere. And I just want to buff up the edge. Now, mind you, this is after you've cleaned your bag, just like I've cleaned my bags in part one and part two of my how to clean your Chanel bag video and this is the end of my video that I'm going to do. So my next video is going to be on the chain. So stay tuned for that. That's going to come up soon. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you maintain your bag like it helps me maintain mine. And as I said, I will have pictures posted before and after pictures. Have a great day. Bye-bye.